Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace His Majesty the King's personal representative His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs Dr. Mohammed bin Barak bin Dana. During the meeting, His Majesty the King directed His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad to set up measures for the development and protection of marine resources continue fish farming to meet the local market's needs and formulate procedures to protect marine resources which are considered one of the essential resources for citizens. Ismashi praised the efforts of the Supreme Council for Environment, the SCE, in cooperation with various ministries and government entities for the development of marine resources and its protection for current and next generations, highlighting the Council's plans and programs in this regard. He emphasized Bahrain's interest in developing marine resources and ensuring their sustainability as they are a vital national wealth and a pillar of for enhancing food security in the country, wishing all success. His Highness uh, Sheikh Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation and gratitude for His Majesty the King's directive and for his support to the efforts of the SCE and his plans uh, to aim to achieve uh, goals and aspirations to serve the nation. He also commended the Ministry of Interior's efforts, particularly the Coast Guard, in protecting marine resources and enforcing legal measures against violations. Under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, the BOC, is Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the University of Technology Bahrain, UTB, yesterday held a graduation ceremony for its 19th batch. The ceremony was held at the Aldana Amphitheater in the presence of uh, Cabinet Affairs Ministries Under Secretary and BOC Vice President Zain Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, Education Minister Dr. Mohammed bin Barak Jum'a, Higher Education Council Secretary General Dr. Diana Al Jahrami, GFH Financial Group CEO and UTB Board of Directors Chairman Hisham Reis, BOC Secretary General Bair Al Kohiji, and also UTB President Dr. Hassan Al Mullah, in addition to dignitaries, graduates, families, and faculty members. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to UTB's Board of Directors and officials, wishing the graduates continued success. His Highness lauded the, the university's achievements and commitment to providing a conductive educational sports environment for students. He added that the achievements of the university are in fact contributions and initiatives to develop Bahrain youth and create an advanced educational and sports environment to provide them with the necessary skills enabling them to play an effective role in the economy of uh, the kingdom and the region. For his part, Reyes appreciated uh, the support of His Majesty the King, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for Education. He also expressed thanks and gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his patronage of the ceremony. The university president delivered a speech in which he expressed pride in the occasion. 723 students from UTB's various colleges received their graduation certificates.
Under the patronage and support of the leader of Al Fursan team, Her Highness Sheikh Noura bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Bahrain Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation organized the Dressage Championship on the Military Sports Federation field in Rafah. The jockeys have demonstrated their high technical abilities in controlling horses in the various categories in the presence of audiences who watch the championship, which witness a wide participation of jockeys. The Federation expressed its appreciation to Her Highness for her continued support to the championship, which comes within the framework of Her Highness's keenness to continue supporting equestrians and advanced equestrian sports in general and the sport of a horse dressage in particular. The winners were honored, expressing their happiness on achieving the first place. They extended their thanks and appreciation to Her Highness Sheikh Noura for her continuous support. The Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed bin Salman Lim received the Speaker of the Grand National Assembly of Turkey, Professor Dr. Norman Kurtulmus, upon his arrival to the Kingdom. Dr. Naman visit will attend joint discussion sessions which will review ways to enhance a parliamentary cooperation. The visit of the Turkish parliamentary delegation to Bahrain comes in light of the close historical Bahraini-Turkish relations and the care and attention they receive from His Majesty the King, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. And the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Turkish parliamentary delegation was received by Deputy Speakers of Representatives Council, the heads of the Parliamentary Committees, Representatives Council, Secretary General and the Turkish Ambassador to Bahrain. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali Al Saleh. The council decided not to approve the draft law on the international money transfer tax on expatriates residing in Bahrain as it has a number of repercussions at the economic, financial and social levels contrary to the goals and objective of its application. The Financial and Economic Affairs Committee stated that the draft law conflicts with many agreements and treaties ratified by Bahrain including international and bilateral tax agreements and treaties as well as agreements to encourage and protect investment. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali al Saleh, received the chairman of the Board of Trustees of Bahrain Institute for Political Development, BIPD, Dr. Ali Ramehi, and the uh, deputy chairwoman of BIPD, uh, Sheikh Dr. May bint Suleiman al Atebi, who presented to uh, the Shura Council chairman the Institute's annual report 2023 in the presence of the Shura Council Secretary General, Karim al Abbasi. Al Saleh has affirmed uh, that the sustainability of the Institute's achievements and outcomes is a translation of its comprehensive strategies and visions, and the approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa that supports positive and effective democratic and political practices in Bahrain. He hailed the BIPD's endeavors in enhancing the principles of patriotism and loyalty and highlighting the development fields in Bahrain as a result of the support of His Majesty the King and the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa. Al Saleh also noted the keenness of BIPD's Board of Trustees and Executive Management on documenting its achievements and successes annually and highlighting its training programs, workshops, national meetings, and dialogues. He affirmed that the annual report is an incentive to continue producing ideas and initiatives that support BIPD's goals and visions. He said that the parliamentary group or support uh, programs implemented by the Institute in cooperation with the Shura Council affirmed the important partnership and BIPD's national role and tasks. For his part, Ramir he affirmed BIPD's determination to achieve the royal vision and implement the objective of his establishment, which are to present and implement uh, special programs and events for members of the legislative authority and enhance the competencies and skills of the employees of the General Secretariat of the Shura and Representatives Councils in accordance with the National Action Charter and the Constitution. He expressed appreciation for the Shura Council Chairman's support and hailed the cooperation of the members of the legislative authority and their effective response to BIPD's programs and events. The Minister of Social Development, Usama al Asfur, received the United Nations Children's Fund UNICEF area representative for the Gulf, Il Tayyib Adam. During the meeting, the minister expressed the or stressed the importance of developing existing relations with UNICEF to strengthen joint cooperation mechanism and advance the progress achieved in children's affairs in Bahrain. He reviewed the ministry's efforts to support children at various levels to provide a safe environment for their development and strengthen a society that ensures the effective participation of children based on equality and respect. 
The number of visitors to the farmer's market in Al-Dayya Botanical Garden yesterday exceeded more than 27,000 visitors, including citizens, residents, and visitors from outside of the kingdom. The farmer's market in its 11th edition is held under the slogan Champions of the Local Product, which reflects the interest Bahrain attaches to supporting the agricultural sector. Market participants noted the initiatives that enhance the demand for the market on a weekly basis through its accompanying programs and events, which have a positive impact on encouraging farmers and entertaining visitors from Bahrain and abroad, giving the public demand for this annual event. The President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed bin Hayyan, discussed during a telephone call with the President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Felix Chisikedi, relations of cooperation in various fields that support development, progress, and sustainable prosperity in the two countries. The President of the Congo stressed his keenness to work with the UAE to strengthen bilateral relations and develop them in a manner that serves the interests of two countries. During the call, the two sides also discussed a number of issues and developments of common interest. The UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs and Chairman of the Higher Committee for COP28 UAE, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, chaired the final meeting of the committee where he stressed that the conference has succeeded in achieving its mission of bringing together the countries of the world, reconciling their opinions and approving the Emirates Agreement. He noted that through the UAE Agreement and the Conference Action Plan, an integrated and comprehensive text was presented that proposes concrete practical solutions to reduce the repercussions of climate change. King Fahd Causeway Authority received or achieved three awards in the Saudi uh, Customer Experience Award, the SCXA24, including two gold and a bronze. The authority achieved the Gold Award Ministry of Transportation Logistics Award for Customer Centric Culture, the Gold Award in the category of Customers at the Heart of Everything, and the Bronze Award in Saudi CX Association Award for Best Measurement in CX. These achievements come as a result of the authority's adoption of a customer centric vision, the application of best practices in providing its services, the automation of its operations, and its keenness to improve the customer's journey across the King Fahad Causeway.